Everybody give yourself a big pat on the back for being the first ones, first ones, and with your thumbs, give me, map testing was good, it was like this, or yes, oh no, it wasn't fun. Let's see. Okay, Musa didn't go too well. Okay, somewhere there. All right, like that. Okay, now it's behind us, so let's say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, and let's welcome, welcome you in a first class with Islamic studies and if you can see the screen give me thumbs up that yes I can see the screen and the first, time. the first thing that we are going to do is going to review the Hajj that you mashallah were work you know were was were working with so Sister Javeria is gonna give you 30 seconds to grab your Hajj models the beautiful beautiful Hajj models that you made mashallah and we can show to all our friends, alhamdulillah. So, uh, mashallah, Mubin has a poster there. Arhan has his page right there. Sister Gulad, oh, so much incredible work. It is so amazing. Look at Mariam's, mashallah, a whole model there. You know, when we come back and we will have our museum exhibit, then we will have a party. We can have them bring all of this, mashallah. Shayana, that looks incredible. Mashallah, tabarakallah. And uh, let's see, while some friends are joining, let's go one by one. Type on the chat box if you want to go first, talk about your model. And everybody gets 30 seconds to explain your model, okay? So, and while you are you know, writing your names, oh, sorry, let me open the chat box so everybody can see who is first one, okay? So, go ahead. Uh, so we have Shayana gave sent me personally, Mariam, and then Samaya, and then go ahead, you know, friends, go ahead and type to everybody so that we can all see the names in order, inshallah. Okay, and uh, make sure you have the material. So go ahead, Shayana. So rest of us keep ourselves muted, and only the person. Okay, one second. Oh my, mashallah, we have the rest of the friends. One second, Shayana. Let me just welcome the rest of the friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm so sorry, we got so excited looking at the models that I forgot about the waiting room. <laughs> so now I disabled it. Okay, now we have everybody in Alhamdulillah. So friends, we are grabbing our models and we are going to see our friends who did that. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as wa barakatuh. You are typing your names on the chat box, whoever is going first. And then inshallah, we start seeing that. So everybody keep yourself muted. Only the person presenting talk, okay? So go ahead. First one, I think I see Shayana's name. Go ahead, Shayana. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So this is my HUD project. So, oops, one second. So I made the Kaaba out of paper, and I brought this tape and around here, and then here's a little door, and. What when we go to the Kaaba, we can see Muhammad Ibrahim. So that's where Ibrahim alayhi salam stood and built the Kaaba. The first we do tawaf seven times. Then we go to the Zamzam well and drink Zamzam water. I put a jug here. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Zamzam Zamzam well and we drink Zamzam water. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Safa and Marai made that out of Play-Doh. That is so creative. I love it. And I made two lines with silver colored tape. Mm -hmm. So we have to walk seven. We have to decide seven times. Very good. Then we go to Mina and stay in correct camp. One thing, Shaina, we say we do Sai, and Sai means that you walk seven times, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And in, in Arabic, oh. Sai means efforts, and I love your, your Sai and your effort right now, mashallah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. So then we go to Mina, uh -huh. and we stay in tents. Mm -hmm. 
I put the same silver tape over here. Then we go to our artifact. I use the box and I taped it behind here. That's and so cool. So many of us get, you know, deliveries and we can always use cardboard. And, and we ask the lost planet Allah to forgive us. Then we go to Ms. Dalisha. I mixed yellow and blue color and I made this green and, and used it as the stones. So then we go to Ms. Dalisha. And we stay one night and pick up these stones. Then we go to Jamarat. I used paper and then tape around it. Then I used this Play-Doh for the stands. And I, I used Jamarat to... Then we, then we throw the stones at Jamarat. That means shape one, shape on statues. Right. Then we do sacrifice and we celebrate Eid. Beautiful. Then we go to... Taba again, and then you tub off seven times again. I wrote tub off over here. I love it. And I wrote Kaaba over here. So from the Kaaba, we go to Medina and go to Masjid al-Nabawi, and we make lots of dua for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Beautiful. Let me ask you now a quiz question. Is it must to go to Medina? Um... I think so. Okay, no. Then let's see. What about the rest of the friends? The, uh, give me from thumbs your thumb signs. Yes, maybe, no. Maybe. It must part of the Hajj to go to Medina, Masjid al Nabawi. Very good. Well, it's not and part of Hajj. Yes. We just. We just want to make dua for Prophet Very Muhammad good, Allah. Yes, and that was written in your notebook, in your book too, right? That people go because of the rewards, that your one salah has so much rewards over there. That's why people go there, right? Alhamdulillah. Friends, and I have even a made garden, so Ibrahim. beautiful. Okay, it next. Very nice, mashallah. So, and today we are going to start with the story of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. You know what? Today is going to be story time. So, if anybody wants to open... That's going to be on this page. So while friends are showing, yes, it will be story time. And while some friends are going to show the models, I can let you know the page number so the rest of you can start even cutting on the story of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. So I tell you me, something. Yes, because today, but since Shayana mentioned it, the Maqam Ibrahim, I am going to tell you the surprise that today is Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam story I'm time. Happy. <laughs> and some of you can start cutting from page number on the workbook on page number 87 there is uh, the Nabi Ibrahim story time thing so you can cut it there okay and while I'm going to go to the next person next was Maryam to show us the Hajj model so Maryam all yours now you can unmute and inshallah can show us I am so proud of each and every one of you mashallah <laughs> Okay, so one second. Okay. Go ahead, grab it, Mariam. Mariam, unmute yourself when you are ready, okay? And friends, the page number I'm going to repeat to you, it's 87. And you can cut it out there. Mariam, first unmute, sweetie. And then... Sure, so, um, you said, Maria, mm -hmm. I'm a muted sister. Sister, one second. Can really see closely. So here's my yeah, Mariam, one second, sweetie. If other friends are talking, that will make it difficult. Let me just tell the rest of the friends that you have very good Celine. That's the page. Very good. Beautiful. That's the page you are reading. And Mubin, very good. That's the page you can start cutting. Sister, so even your tomorrow's work can be done right now. Okay? And, yes. I'm saying that uh, when you zoom in to the person who is doing it, we can't see because you're sharing your screen. Uh, we... Yeah, that's why what I want to do is, Isa, that I only want that person to speak so that we can see that person only clearly and we can see it big. No, I can't. Uh, we can't see it zoom. You can like... see it zoom? No, you can, you can uh, set your cameras however you want, but I bring it on my share screen so that we can see the model very well. Yeah, right? we can yeah. So let's see. Let me have Mariam start talking and then let's see if there's still a problem. So, wait, the area. Mm -hmm. It only shows the story of Nabi Ibrahim 2, not number 1. Mm, say it again. It only. Oh, never mind. I found it. <laughs> you know, when people say, tell me, never mind, I tell them, no, I do have a mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I cannot do never mind. <laughs> 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 so, all right. So let's. Thank you, thank you for waiting. 
Happy Ibrahim. Yeah, now I don't want anybody to talk other than Mariam, okay? So Mariam, please go ahead, unmute yourself so that I'm going to facilitate because I really want the camera to be on you. Okay, Mariam, go ahead. Unmute. And then okay. start. Okay, now we can okay, see it. So and I hope everybody can see it very closely now. Go ahead, Mariam. Yeah, maybe they can pin their screen. No, you can see on my screen now. I have. That's why I set it the way that is. So that no, we can't. We can't. Okay. Okay, okay, so I made one boy and one girl. They're making intention mm -hmm. right here. I love that. And I write it. What is the meaning of intention? Intention? Mm -hmm. Intention means we we pray to Allah that we do, we do um we we that we do right. Stop. Very good. Very good. So intention I, means a uh, niya also. Okay. So niya means when you think you decide that you're gonna do this. So that's something that you do in your heart. You don't have to say any words for that, but you make an intention, right? Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. And then you go to the Kaaba. Mm -hmm. You go around the Kaaba seven times. This is called Bawa. Mm -hmm. And then we go to Safa and Barwa. Mm -hmm. We, we walk to Safa and Marwa seven times. And then we go to drink Zamzam water. Then we go to then we go to Mena and stay in tents. Then we then we go to Arafat to forgive us. We ask Allah to forgive us. Very good. And we go then we go to Muzdalifa. Mm -hmm. And stay there for for one day and collect stones. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Jamarat and throw the stones. Do you know we sleep at, at the night the in Muzdalifa? It is we sleep under the open air, no tents, no nothing. We sleep on the mountain. It's so amazing. <laughs> yes, and then we go to Raidul. Then now we sacrifice an animal. I made a little tiny goat here. Uh -huh. And then, and then we sacrifice a goat, a llama, or a sheep. And then we eat it for Eid al-Adha. Mm -hmm. Then we the celebrate. Rest of the world is making Eid that day too. I then we go back. One thing, okay? On sacrifice, we will make it a C, I think. So with the F I C E, okay? Can I tell you something? Okay. I asked you not to say anything, right? So okay. And then um, go around the Kaaba seven times. I have two more things to say now. Yeah. Now there is a dua we say while we're going around the Kaaba. It's it means I am at your service. Oh Allah, I am at your service. You have no partner. I am at your service. Praise, cry, praises and blessing belong to you in the kingdom. You have no partner. And right here, there is Maqami Ibrahim. Yes. Alhamdulillah, we can see that. And then we are going to move to the story. When we go there, we're going to talk more about it, what's, what's happening there. Yeah. Let's, let's do one thing right now, everybody. Let's say... I'm done. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. I'm done. Mashallah. Give it's yourself a big yeah. pat on the back. And everybody give a big thumbs up to all the people. Mashallah, everybody did a great job. Everybody model was so beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Yes. We did mini hug in the school and read the dua. Yeah, that's true. And that's where, um, you know, there's a lot of things. So this model really helps us to learn it. I'm going to come to you, uh, Celine. Don't worry. Next is Sumaya. Sumaya, get ready. But before that, let's try saying this together. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Love, 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 love
beautiful, beautiful. I love it. You know, Sister Kulnarvi didn't even ask for all these things, but mashallah, they are so smart and they are so intelligent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sister Javeria, were they required? Were they required to make a model? We, I facilitated for them. Like I gave them ideas uh, that they can make it on Legos. We have one Lego model coming up, Sister Kulnarvi. It's like so beautiful. Oh, yeah. So they did amazing things. I did see all their models. Yes, mashallah. But, you know, like I need to. I am not happy with some friends. Sister Kuna, do you know why? Why, Sister Javeria? Because they miss on this opportunity. Like, you know, somebody tries to trick them and they get tricked. Let's get our defense shield on right now. Let's let's do that. You know, like everybody is, mashallah, have their work for books. So let's get our defense shield on. And then um, let me just show you the target for today as well, okay? My screen is moving so fast. My screen is excited today because today is the last, last school day for last school life class for 2020, right? So for the break, yes. Yeah. Can I say something? You can definitely say something. I am going to get um, to this place so we get to Wait, when we said that, one second. I'm sorry. Put so your hand. I need to talk so that one person talks at a time. Celine, go ahead. What did you want to say, sweetie? When we were saying the du'a, um, I saw on the chat, uh -huh. someone said stop, stop and lots of peace. All right, I see that. So I see, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to freeze the chat so that you guys are not disturbed, okay? So, inshallah, I am, I'm, I'm so enjoying the models that I, you know, didn't see on that side. Thank you, Celine, for letting us know. And that's why I wanted to get the defense shield on. Let's everybody say, do this together. Everybody, unmute yourself. Let's get our defense shield and du'as done. One, two, three. Some people are still getting tricked. I don't even see them. So I need to see Naila. I need to see Musa. And who is Akhmar Khan? Nora and That's Nora, sister Javeria. That's Nora. Nora, have you reached safely, Siri? Yes. She's in Pakistan, but Nora, she's still attending. She's yeah. still attending the class from there. Okay, Alhamdulillah. How was your flight, Nora? Good and very long. Very long. <laughs> yes, it is a long, long flight. You forgot to take me, huh? I know. One of my cousins. Okay. Yeah. All right. So One of my cousins. To the cousin too. Now you can also learn from so many friends here because I have so many smart readers who can teach also. Yes, there are. Um, in seven days we are going to go to Pakistan. When, when are you gonna go? In seven days. In seven days, inshallah, Allah SWT take you with lots of ease. And I wish I can go too and hug my mom over there too. I miss my mom. So inshallah, I hope everybody who has plans, Allah take you with health and safety and iman. I'm still waiting to see Musa. And my family is in Pakistan. My cousin is coming next Wednesday. Okay, we will it's talk all about it. Let's let's finish our work and then let's talk all about it. Inshallah, Mubin, yes. I got the ticket. But I need to see Zarar with the book. And Zarar, you know what? Why I was sad because the work was not in, and that's why we need to get our defense shield very strong. So friends, um, so my just I'm gonna let you share also. But I wanted to show Sister Gulnar. Sister Gulnar, see some friends do so much nice work, Mashallah. And, yes, Mashallah. Uh, on Tuesday. Everybody was able to put in their work except two of my friends. And I was wondering, what's oh, no. happening? What's happening? Where are you? So that was like absent. So Zarar, I'm missing your works. Um, and Zoya, I've been asking you also. Zoya, are you unable to log in, sweetie? Can you unmute yourself and talk to me? I can't log in, so, but today I think my internet can work. Okay, but this is from last Tuesday, sweetie, and every Tuesday I'm missing your work. Like, you know, it's like I have this, my grade book thing here. I have to put the report cards in this week, right? And I was making a lot of du'as that, you know, I hope Allah SWT will make everything easy. And everybody give yourself a big pat on the back. Those who did their page 54, 55, you can even show this on the screen right now to your friends. How nice you colored it, how nice you did it. It looks so beautiful, mashallah. All the steps look so beautiful. I'm so proud of you. 
And Zarar and Zoya, I definitely missed you on this day. And Zahra, I don't see the work. I know you logged in, but I didn't see the workbook pages put in there. So at this time, it's fun to have a pet, but at this time, I need you to have the workbook and book with you, right? Very good, mashallah. Look at that, how beautiful work most of our friends did. So Zarar, where is your book and workbook? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. So, Noora has it. Oh, you, Noora, you took it with you. You have your work with you. So, I don't have my books with me because the bags are getting too heavy. Uh oh. All right. So maybe then you could, you know, we could have uh, taken pictures of the lessons ahead because we have the planner for the whole year. So for the next two, three weeks, we are going to be working on Ibrahim alayhi salam story. OK, let me know Then maybe we can take some pictures and send you. So let's start again fresh by saying Bismillah in the name of Allah. Bismillah in the name of Allah. The most gracious, the most musical. Zidini, this was our dua for the PBL. Let's say that together. Alhamdulillah, I seek refuge with the complete words of Allah for the evil of what He has created. So I need to see you, Naila. I need to see you, right? Allahumma inna nas'aluka ilman nafia wa rizman wayyiba Oh, Allah, we ask you for knowledge that benefits, for provision that is good, and for actions that get accepted. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And we are on the Salah chart. Go ahead. You have the annotate option right now. Let's see if you can mark on the Salah chart. I can't annotate. You can then type. It never lets me. I can't. can't work. I'm using school computer. Okay. So you can, you know, the yeah. best way to do is annotate on your own Salah chart. I am so proud of all the friends who mark their Salah chart daily. And some of my friends, I had a question for them. Like, for example, I have to put an M, which means missing on Musab. So I didn't see the Salah chart. I didn't get the Salah chart from uh, Zoya, from Zahra, and Zarar. So, and Aina, I think, Aina, where is Aina? She's not here, Sister Javeria. She's not here today. Okay. She's not here. Okay, so we are meeting with them. I'll talk to them, inshallah. We have a parent teacher meeting to the so we we'll talk about that. But, um, do you have any, uh, Zoya, do you do you know how to get to Salah Church, sweetie? Zoya? Yes, do you have a printout of it? Let's see who can show me on the screen right now. Your printed out Salah Church. I so I got it, but it's a little like it doesn't have the line, so I can't show it. Okay, I really want look at that, mashallah, Shayana. Good job, Shayana. Why should we have the salah chart printed out? Can you tell? How, how does it help? Remember what salah you prayed. Excellent, very good. And then there are reminders on the back. Beautiful, Samaya. Excellent, mashallah. We will have special, special prizes for those, mashallah, the special things for those who have the Salah chart, right? Zara, I wanted to see your book, sweetie. Where is your book and workbook? And the friends are already cutting. Some of them are already at the pasting stage, mashallah. So you are at the story of Nabi Ibrahim over there. And beautiful annotation last two days for this month. And every day what we are doing, it goes into Allah subhanahu ta'ala's registers, right? So, yes. I don't know what goes first and what goes last. What goes? Yeah, that's why because you have to do the story. Yeah, that's okay. So just keep the cutouts and we just do the story and then we can do it. But at this time, put everything away and let's save in our hands together. Compassion is kindness and empathy in action. Yeah. You guys can all say it. There are good job. Great job, mashallah. You got it. Let's see. Action. Naila, can you also do it for us? Right? Alhamdulillah. All right, Samaya, we are ready to see your model before we start with the story time. Okay? The page is 46. Page 
number 46 for the story time on Nabi Ibrahim. What book is it? What book? Uh -oh. One is called textbook Zarar and one is workbook. So the colorful one is the book. The book. You can see this is the colorful one. This is the coloring one? Yeah. Very good. All right. So everybody now mute and we will see the model of Samaya only. Samaya, go ahead. Your turn. You can quickly explain it. Unmute and then you can show it. Here is my map of head. That is so beautiful. Is it Nabi Adam? Mm, yes. yes. You can read to succeed. R E A D. Read to succeed. You see it on the screen? Nabi Adam. Okay, so Maya, I wanted to hear you only, sweetie. No, oh. the page again. Uh oh. It's Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. Yeah, so R E A D. Read to succeed. It's page number 46. So. Guna, you want to see, mashallah, how beautiful the work was. If we keep seeing all of them, obviously, it's going to take a lot of time. But let me show you the friends who did incredible work. And you know what? We can always go see their work and leave some comments, just like I left a comment right here for you guys. Okay? So look at that. Musa has put in Celine. That was so incredible. Celine, you want to show it on the screen right now, too? You have it next yes, time, too. Let's Masha. take a look at it, mashallah. <laughs> let's see your, yeah. Yeah, that is so beautiful. I love it, mashallah. And Arhan, you want to show yours on the screen right now? Um, show what? Your model. That is so nice, mashallah. I love it. So you can all, you know, Sister Guna, we talked about them. Like they can all do however they feel comfortable. And Maya, yeah. you have your own. You want to show yours? And this is the page. Zara, this is the this is the work. Is it? You you the the book, which is colorful. Book. Okay. Is it yes. So, mashallah, this was so beautiful. I love all the models and Zoha, that looks so nice. I love it, mashallah. Zoha, you want to say something about it? So wonderful to see you, mashallah, the barakallah, and the beautiful work going on. Here is my map about the Kaaba. So here is the Kaaba, right here, and on top of it. Thank you. All right, I need everybody to stand up and give yourself a big pat on the back, and let's take ten seconds for sujude to do that. Alhamdulillah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala helped us make such beautiful things, and those who missed it. You missed it, so make sure that you finish and put it in. Uh, it definitely affects your grades also, okay? So let's take 30 seconds to put our head down on the ground, say thank you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come back. 30 seconds, okay? Your time starts right now. What did you say again? I know. What did Sister Javeria say again? I I forgot. Sister Javeria said you need to come down and then to the ground and then and then say thank you to Allah. I'm so I'm proud of those whose ears are working and they are focused and they were able to follow along. I said we are going to go put our head on the ground in a sajda and say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, thank you so much for teaching us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thank you so much that we were able to make these beautiful models and and you know, let's make a special, special dua before we go to the story of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. So let's ask Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we want to come to the Kaaba. We want to meet the seven rounds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bring us for sa'i. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us, you know, drink the zamzam from the well, oh. from right there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us run where there are green lights in the sa'i area. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us stay in the Mina tents. 
How many of us would like to stay in the middle tent? Thank you, uh, Sel uh, Selene. Keep showing it. It looks beautiful when you're going to show it. I am going to make dua and you can keep showing it too. Okay? And it's beautiful right there in the Mina tents. Each of every can look at them. Page 46. I'm page 46. <laughs> so I'll be with us here in the draw, right? And then Allah SWT take us and you know help us stay at Muzdalifa out in the open on the open mountain. No room on us, no tents, no nothing, just on the open mountain. And then Allah SWT help us collect all these teeny tiny pebbles from there. And then we go and then we throw it very strongly at Jamarat. How many of us can pretend to throw it right now at Jamarat? Let's see how strong you can throw it. One, two, three. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. <laughs> very so, good. Yeah. Very much. Yes. Uh, very good. Yes. Uh, I have to do with Sister Zara to do one of my assignments. Math test. Math test, Naila? Yeah. Uh, Sister does she need to do anything right now? No. Yeah. Well, she didn't finish her math test, so okay. uh, she can wait until the, the end of class. The class is almost over, yeah, so uh, Naila. Naila. Let's do this story and then we can go, inshallah, okay? Yes, Sister Zara just sent me an email. She said to have her excused and come to her now. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Then I will upload the recording and I hope Naila can catch up from there. But Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Wish you all the best, Naila. And Thank you so much. All right, friends. At this time, what I want to see is... Some people have already cut out from page number 87. Who can show them to me on the screen? Your cutouts from page number 87. Yeah. Yes. I have something to tell you. Yes. In PK4, uh -huh. um, when we were learning with Project Sister Rima, we used to do this and pretend to throw rocks and said cry baby shakes. <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, so beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the story, okay? So you can choose to put your finger on the text on page number 46. Let me show you the page numbers, smart workers, on page 46. And then if you like, you can choose to sequence the pictures to see where should they go? But that's going to be work tomorrow, okay? Uh, right now, if you do it, great. You are saving yourself time. But it's not must to do it. If you just want to listen and enjoy the story, I just want you to listen and enjoy the story, okay? Give me thumbs up if you're ready, if you understood it, okay? So if you want right now, you can sit anywhere you like in the room and you can just be comfortable and just enjoy, put your finger on the text and enjoy listening to the story. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you 15 seconds to pick up a comfortable place where you can still hear me. Okay, and then sit wherever you like. You don't have to take your computer there. You can just sit wherever you like as long as you can hear me. Be comfortable. Put your finger on the text. And we will start with the story of Nabi Ibrahim 1. Okay, and inshallah, in coming two, three weeks, we will be doing just the story of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam, one, two, and three. And then, you know, Ibrahim alayhi salam is one of my most favorite personality. I can't wait to hug him on the day of judgment. I feel like when I will come on the day of judgment, I will be looking for him. I really, really want to hug him because he is known as Khalilullah. He is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right. So now just give me thumbs up that you are ready for the story. Is it Nabi Adam too? Mm, Nabi Adam, we, uh, we are not going to do right now. But yes, we will be doing that too, inshallah. All right, Saja? All right. Okay, now just listening ears on. No talking, no raising hands for any questions, no nothing. If you enjoy listening, enjoy listening. If you enjoy putting your finger on the text and reading with the words, go ahead, just put your finger on the text, okay? Let's get started. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ibrahim alayhi salam was born in Iraq and lived with a man named Azar. And let me just tell you that there will be a test on this tomorrow. There will be, I will be showing you a worksheet and you will be filling up some places like that. So pay attention to what you're listening, okay? There is, I'm going to show you the test right now on the screen also. Like, it's going to be like this and you will be plugging in the words in there, okay? 
So just uh, pay attention to the details and we will ask you some questions after that, that who and when we are talking about and what's happening in the main story. Now, Ibrahim was born in Iraq and lived with a name, man named Azar. That was his father name. His people worshiped the stars, planets, and idols. Azar used to make the idols that people worshiped. Ibrahim salam, found it very strange that people were worshipping idols that they made themselves. You know, one time he walked in and he asked his father, Ma haza tamasil wa antum laha akifun. What are these pictures and why are you sitting so obediently in front of them? Right? Like today people sit in front of the television sometimes. They sit in front of things and they're just so focused. They're not even thinking about anything else. So idols were just stone and could not move, let alone help anyone. So Ibrahim salam, asked Azar nicely to stop making idols. But Azar did not listen. And he told Ibrahim salam, to stop asking such questions questions you know ibrahim salam in english is known as abraham as well now one day when everyone went to a big feast ibrahim salam had to make a decision this decision was not easy it, it just doesn't come like that he was very polite very nice but Azza was saying you know what i'm going to stone you if you don't stop doing saying this to me because they were making money out of the making these idols so he, they were not willing to stop so, and Ibrahim salam, was worried for them. He loved those people. He wanted them to be following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he was worried. So he thought of a plan. And the people were not realizing. Even you might have seen on shops and places where there are idols and people even put food in front of them and things like that. So they were not understanding it. So one day when everyone went to a big feast, Ibrahim salam, took an axe. You can see the picture on the right side. There is like an axe. And he... Uh, he broke all of the idols all right and what did he do he left only the biggest one and put the axe on the big idol and left okay now he was a prophet that's why he knew Allah SWT inspired him and this is what he did when people returned from the feast they became very upset now it's very important that we need to understand can I just go and break some of the idols now what do you think? Just nod your head. Yes or no? Can I just go and just break somebody's idol now? No, I cannot do that now. Why? Because Allah has told me how I need to invite people. Now we have Quran and Allah has given us the complete way. Okay. At that time, Ibrahim alayhi salam, there was no Quran at that time. There was no other thing. So that's what he did. He wanted to help the people and he just did it to help them uh, be idol free. Now they wondered who had broken all the idols. They turned to Ibrahim salam and asked him who had done this. They already knew that Ibrahim salam was calling them, telling them again and again, do they give you anything? And they would say no. And then he would like, then why are you worshipping them? But they were not listening. Now Ibrahim salam told them to ask the big idol that had the axe on it. Ask him who broke him. But the people knew the idols could not talk or do anything. So Ibrahim salam, was trying to teach them a lesson. Idols cannot talk or do anything. So how could people worship him? So instead of listening to Ibrahim salam, and giving up idol worship, they decided to punish him. You know, they become so grumpy and angry. When, they, when Ibrahim salam, told them, ask the big one, they become even more angry. And they're like, you know they, they cannot talk. And they made a hot blazing fire. Let's see if you guys can build like with your hands. Can you show me like a hot blazing fire going all the way up? Like the flames are going so much high, all the way high. It's so hot. And they, what did they say? They said, let's throw Ibrahim alayhi salam in it. Now, Ibrahim alayhi salam could be very scared. What is he going to get in all, out of all this? He could have said, oh, no, I'm sorry. You can make the idols. I can help you build them again or something like that. But no, he was a very strong believer. Can you show me strong believers? Your hands like strong believers. Yes, mashallah. Are you guys strong believers? Awesome. So he was very strong believer. And he he did not, he, you know what he said, by the way, let me show you what did he said. You know, even when the angel came that let me help you, he said, he said this here. Let me have it. Yeah, right here. He said, Hasbunallah, Hasbunallahu wa He said, Allah is sufficient for us. 
and the best of those to whom to depend. So even when the angel came that I can help you, he's like, no, hasbunallah, Allah is sufficient for me. Next time when you are worried, something is going wrong, you're feeling scared, uh, maybe just like Nora when she went on a plane and sometimes the plane starts rocking and you are like, oh, oh, what's going to happen? Is it going to land or what's going to happen? So you can always say, hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakil. Allah, let me see who can memorize it even while listening to it. Now, who makes fire? Who has made the fire? Hmm? Allah subhanahu So Allah made the fire hot. So Allah can make the fire cool as well. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes Allah sends rain and it brings out beautiful vegetation. Sometimes when I watch rain. the video, yeah. Allah when I watch the prophet video. Very good. Yes, they are prophet videos. And, you know, I'm going to share one tomorrow with you. But some of them, if they make like the prophet face and everything, we should try to stay away from it. Okay. And uh, what we know from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should go to Quran and see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us from there. So what Allah has told us in the Quran is that Allah ordered the fire to be cool and safe for Ibrahim alayhi salam. The fire did not burn him. When people saw this, they were surprised and amazed because fire burns, right? But Ibrahim alayhi salam came out of it so easily. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had saved Ibrahim alayhi salam. He became a great prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now his job was to teach people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. What do you think when people saw him coming out of the fire? Do you think everybody believed in him now? Or what do you think will happen next? Any idea? Hmm? You can unmute and you can say it. Yes, Myra. They were surprised. They were surprised, yes, and they were amazed. And we will see what will happen next, inshallah, in our next time story. But I, I, I know, I know, I know what will happen next. Yes, you have a son named Ismail, uh -huh. and yeah, we will have a dream that he'll sacrifice it for Very good. We're going to see what happens after that, even before Ismail is born, what happens. So, in this story, who would like to tell me where was Ibrahim salam born? Everybody can say the answer if everybody of you know remembers it. He was born in. was there and in the Quran there was about the talk about a tree in the hellfire people was like uh oh how can there be a tree because it will get burned or whatever like this and now people see that even in a microwave you don't see you don't see any fire but it can heat things up so hot right 
So a glass panta can do anything. Just imagine a microwave can heat something so quick or in the refrigerator can cool things down. Imagine what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do. Yes, Aiza. Beautiful lesson, Maryam. Excellent lesson. Yes, Aiza. Thank you. I've learned that <clears throat> that we should not uh, worship idols. They can't do anything or talk. This, that's such an incredible lesson, Aiza. You know, how old are you, Aiza, right now? Seven. Seven. And there are people who are 70 years old and they don't understand it. They still worship the idols. And it's so sad. They don't realize it. Like, why are we worshiping these idols? And if you tell them, like Ibrahim salam told his father, What are these pictures? What are these idols that you're worshiping? And, you know, like other, they would say, oh, I'm going to stone you. I'm going to hurt you. Why are you doing this? So I'm so proud of you that you know this at this young age that idols do not help us. You know, okay, everybody, I have a question. Do we as Muslims worship the Kaaba? Like some people say, yeah. you guys also worship yeah. idols. Some people say you Muslims also worship Kaaba. So do we worship Kaaba or do we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Which one? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Yeah. Kaaba is just a, like a model where we direct, we put our direction to. But we do not worship that stone. We do not worship those stones. Some people, they do go, they kiss it, and they like hug it. That's out of the process. But it's just like we are worshiping it. All right. Any other lesson? I'm so proud of your lessons. Great lessons, friends, mashallah. Uh, yes, go ahead, Shayana. When I'm having difficulty to say, husband of Allah, I'm al wakil. You have a difficulty saying that? Let's look at it one more time. It's No, <laughs> no, I don't have difficulty saying it. Okay. When others have difficulty doing anything, we say the dua. Oh, wow, you were telling me a lesson. Excellent. So anytime <laughs> yeah. we have a difficulty, we can say this dua <laughs> and Allah will be sufficient for us. And you know what? This is dua Rasulullah said when even there was a big army that came to fight them. They also said that. Now, I was having so much fun time doing the story time with you guys. I didn't look at the time. And it's time for our goodbyes. So before our goodbyes, the Friday's team show and share is going to be all about Ibrahim alayhi salam before we go on our long vacation. Right? And uh, let's think about his life. And you can always give ideas. Tomorrow, there will be a little test for you to see how much you know. So you just have to put the words in the place. You see the words on the bottom? You will have to put them in the place so that I will show you. And then you're going to put the story in the order, what happened first. Okay? And on Friday, we will do a Steam Show and Share. And this will be a special winter holiday vacation. Home so that you do at one special good deed in the vacation. So, Jazakumullah Khair wa Asun Jaza for being here. Everybody give yourself a big tight hug. And I am so proud of each one of you, mashallah. And next time I'm going to see you in a live class, it's going to be 2021. Hmm? You guys are going to be bigger and smarter, mashallah. And I hope whoever is... Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget, forget to give Don't forget to give mom and dad a big hug for everything that they do, okay? How many of you can promise me that before you leave? Yes? That homework yes. is permanent homework. Everyday homework. Awesome. All right. Now, if anybody has any question, comments, anything you want to share, stay. Otherwise, uh, you know, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. I see saying Arabic. Uh, uh, that, uh, 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 as, um, um, well, I think Sophia was meant to say that. I think she, um, in Arabic, we say Ila Liqa. Yes, Celine, that's going to be yes, very good. That's we're gonna continue the story. We will move forward accordingly, inshallah. All right, yes, Aliza. Um, yes, say it again, Aliza. 
Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I just wanted to tell you um a surah. Just wanted to tell you when surah um it's called Aitul Kursi. Go ahead. A'udhu billahi min. I don't know, Lisa, your voice stopped coming. Can you check? Your voice is not coming, Aliza. There was some delay in the network, but it was beautiful, Aliza. Jazakumullah khair for Arsenal Jaza for reciting it to me. And inshallah, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, rest of the day, okay? And don't forget to give mom a big hug when you get up from here, okay? Okay. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, do you want me to say her assalamu alaikum or no? Yes, you can say that and you can say I love you, right? 